Awaya Shalawan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the rule well. And Shalawan to the hopeful elect pushing this word in all sincerity and in truth. In the sincere hopes that we may edify and feed the flock and lambs of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Which the word edify means to build. All right. And uh, you know, pretty much, I wanted to do a quick in transit video. It's ain't gonna be a long one, but uh, and I was planning to do a video on this, which I might do a part two to this video, um, because I actually have the clip saved on my phone of you know President Joe Biden, the current the current president of the you know of the U.S. You know, he just signed in a, a, a new bill, all right, known as the Anti-Lynching Act, all right, the Anti-Lynching Bill which now lynching by law is now pretty much, you know, you're pretty much going against the law. So you mean to tell me after all these years, they only just signed that into power? All right, and you got all, you know, you got Kamala Harris, and then you had some other so-called black woman that's standing to the right of him, and Kamala Harris is standing to the left of him. You know, when you were seeing, and you know, pretty much they were just applauding him. You had all these people applauding him in the audience and that. For signing this bill and he was pretty much saying that um you know over four hundred over four thousand people were lynched on the soils of america man all right over four thousand i think he said four thousand four hundred people were lynched within a certain time period i've got to find a clip that's why lord willing i'm going to come back and do a part two to this because it actually goes into what he was saying all right these ain't my words these these are these are joe biden's words man and you know the scriptures speak about you know, their tongue shall fall upon themselves. That's why the scriptures speak about, you know, shameful glory or shameful spewing Shalakia shall be upon thy glory. All right, because Esau, you know, is coming to the point now where, you know, he's having to um to to try and take down statues and, and really why he's taking down these statues which have links to slavery and stuff like that is because he, he basically wants to do away with history because the history that we, that we all understand, right, especially us Israelites that are in the know is that you know he has a bloody past this man you know the scriptures speak about in Psalm 73 that violence covereth him as a garment and when we come out there on the highways and the byways and we expose this devil for what he's done to the saints all right Esau don't like that all right and that's why they're trying to pull down these statues and that they're really trying to do away with history but they ain't going to be able to do that all right because we're like um the more he tries to do that the more he shines light on his dark deeds and then we jump all over it Right over here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders on down to pretty much bring it to the forefront, right? While he tries to get rid of, um, you know, hiding the skeletons in the closet, so to speak. He can't get rid of these things, man. Okay? And that's why I mentioned that scripture that, you know, that tongue shall fall upon themselves. Esau, man, he, he's, he's pretty much, he's a guilty man, right? The scriptures speak about him being a fugitive and a vagabond. All right? And someone that's a fugitive. And a vagabond, a vagabond is like a wanderer, you know, and a fugitive is someone that's, you know, pretty much on the run from the law, you know, and pretty much, you know, Esau is a fugitive, man, okay, he's on the run, he's a criminal, all right, and then really the so-called white man is really not white, white represents purity, okay, they, they put that term upon themselves because white represents purity, and why do they call us black, which we ain't black, all right, the color of my hair is black, but my skin is a, sh a shade of brown, Right, but they even show you that which Apostle Gabar did that video about, and he he, he pretty much um, spoke on that clip from the movie X that was directed by Spike Lee, I believe. All right, and they had Denzel Washington in it, and he, you know, pretty much the library scene when they were going into the definition of black and white, and it was seeing the direct contrast and how black means pretty much um, outrageously wicked, void of light and dark and negative and all of that. But then op the opposite of that was white, which means purity, and there ain't nothing pure about what Esau, you know, has done or what he is doing, all right? Everything that he has, he stole, and that's just a fact. Everything that this devil has, he stole, man. And the scriptures speak about, you know, that he's gonna sw he swallow down the riches, but he shall vomit them up again. So Esau, really, in hindsight, he's just keeping those riches warm for the for the saints because the scriptures tell you the future prophecy that the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, bro. Starting with Yahweh Shai, all right? And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. And the saints are the Israelites, man. Okay? And going back to that, um, the lynching, you know, the, the anti-lynching act. Man, you got this, this book 
um, which was recommended. When I first came in the truth, I heard Apostle Gabar speak about this book um, by Ralph Ginsburg, 100 Years of Lynching. So I went ahead and ordered it. And it shows you the map of America that's literally soaked in blood. All right, the map of, the map of America is like, it's like, it's like blood dripping on the front page, but it's the map of America. And I thought it was quite creative, but it actually shows you like the, 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 the blood that the blood of the, shed, uh, the saints has been shed in great numbers over there in that land, man. All right, and that's why that land is gonna be, you know, that's gonna be nuked, okay? But the cleansing agent with the nuclear missiles and Yahweh Shai coming back with them laser beams, man. Okay, the scriptures speak about the controversy of Zion, man. The Lord said he's gonna re return the captivity of Judah. And um, in fact, let's do Joel the third chapter, Judah, Judah and Jerusalem. All right, Joel the third chapter. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I must be allowed to read. All right, so this is about this is about the Lord coming back, man. And we got all we got to do is just prophesy against this wicked ass kingdom, you know, and wait and see Esau's cr kingdom cr crumble, man, before our eyes, man. All right, and we can't wait to see the Lord come back and establish righteousness on the earth, because that's exactly what's gonna happen, right? It says, "For behold, this is Joel three and one. Before behold, in those days and in that time." when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. And I will gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which Jehoshaphat is Yahweh Shapat in the Hebrew, which means the valley of the Most High's judgment or the valley of decision, if you will, all right? Yahweh Shapat, right? The name of the heavenly father, which means he is Yahweh, which is he is, and Shapat, which means to judge, all right? so. There's going to be, hey man, over there in the Middle East, there's going to be World War Three that's going to be fought. But before that happens, remember the MOTB is going to be pushed. And that's why this devil, you know, is pretty much going all out because he knows that he has but a short time. Remember Revelation 12 and 12, right? He knows that he has but a short time, man, right? Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea because the devil, you know, uh, has a short wrath knowing that he has but a short time. Having great wrath, the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. So lucky, I wanted to get the quotation right, you know. Sometimes, you know, you know, these things slip your mind, you know. But um, but at the end of the day, this devil can't hide the, the truth, man. Alright, and you know the scripture says, Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? You got, you know, Israelites that are out there, even despite the fact that we're bringing this to the forefront and we're telling you through the through prophecy. You know, what happened to us is, you know, was a curse that was put on our nation, man. You know, when you read Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down, the scriptures speak about the yokes of iron. The scriptures speak about being sold unto our enemies for bond men and bond women, and that no man shall buy us. That alone proves who we are in the scriptures, man. Okay? The fact that we are blood was shed in great numbers, man. And, and the blood, you know, the, the soil of America is stained with the blood of the saints, the Israelites. That, that alone shows you that we're the true people of the Lord. Okay, and the scriptures tell you that in Revelation 13, 9 and 10, he that have an ear, let him hear, you know, and he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You know, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, which the word patient means to suffer. And the saints are who? The Israelites, man. Psalms 148 and 14 tells you that the saints are the Israelites. Okay, and we're the chosen people of the Lord, man. So the Lord punished us as a people because we went off. All right, and that's why we were getting lynched. That's why, and the thing is, Esau's gonna have to pay for that. Just because um, we were being cursed, but guess what, the Lord used Esau to pretty much, as his whipping stick, to put that hell upon us. But guess what, even though Esau was being used, he's still gonna be punished for that. He's still gonna be punished for that, bro. And Esau is known as the wicked. And the scripture says that the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. How are you gonna still have a, companies that are still profiting off the back of slavery, bro? We were talking about old money. We're talking about when you look at the elites, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Gettys, the DuPonts, which the DuPonts, man, you know, they they you know they're pouring out something called the devil's piss. They're creating these uh forever chemicals that can't be broken down, you know, putting it into the water supply. These devils are ruining the earth. Right? If it weren't enough that they are, you know, they pretty much put hell on our nation, they're ruining the earth. That's why they gotta be taken out of rulership. The scriptures speak about destroying them, which destroy the earth, man. So this devil has got a lot to pay for. 
all right? Not just for what he did to, to Jake, the Israelites, man, but what he's doing to the earth also. He's got a lot to pay for. The scripture tell you in Isaiah 14 that even the fir trees shall rejoice when this devil is taken out of rulership, man. And that's just a fact. All right, so they can come with all them anti-lynching acts and all this acting like they, you know, hey, they, remember the scripture speak about the children shall seek to please the poor. Okay, they shall seek to please the poor, man anti-lynching act and he even went into the story i'm talking about joe biden he even went into the story about emmett till went into the whole story of it and that and whatever you know trying to make uh, jake's heart throb you know playing at jake's heartstrings and that and whatever but guess what bro it's too little too late all right the damage has been done the blood has been shed all right and the scriptures tell you that in numbers 35 and 33 right that that land you know that um Blood defileth the land, and that land cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed it, man. All right? So Esau's blood has to be shed, and it will be, man, in the kingdom. All right? Starting when Yahweh Shai comes back and takes them down and then puts them in slavery, man. That's when all these nations are going into captivity. Remember, the scriptures tell you in Jeremiah 30 and 16, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that preyed upon you will I give for a prey, you know? So the Lord is going to pretty much turn the captivity upon the head of our enemies, man. Starting with Esau, Edom. Happy shall he be that taketh thy little ones and dash them against the stones, man. So we're, we're going to get their babies and dash them against the stones. And this ain't no joke. This is biblical prophecy, man. Oh, you mean, to, wait, that's in the Bible? Yeah, it's in the Bible, bro. Let me had that guy on Fresh and Fit. I can't remember what his name is, man. But, you know, and they were going through the scriptures... And they were like, holy smokes, that's in the Bible? Yeah, that's in the Bible, bro. That's in the scriptures, man. These, these scriptures, and the thing is, a lot of people don't seem to realize that within these scriptures, man, are written lamentations, mournings, and woe, man. Right? The curses that you see our, our people upon, right, that are underneath right now, that we're going through, those curses are in the scriptures, bro. You know? That a man shall betroth a wife, and another man shall lay with her, and so on and so forth. All these curses that are upon our people, man. Okay, the fact that the so-called black woman's got no hair, that's that's a curse. That's in the scriptures. Everything is in the scriptures, bro. Alright, the yokes of iron, the the, the, the the auctioning blocks of slave, the slavery. Okay, but then guess what? The scriptures tell us in Psalms in Isaiah 14 and 1, you know, on down that what's this guy doing, man? That um that we shall we, when you read in Isaiah 14. One of the verses, I think it's verse three or four, that we shall take them captives whose captives we were, okay? So we're gonna take these captives, these, these nations captives, who at one time we were their captives and we're prisoners of war right now to this very day, man. But that's, the Lord is gonna change that. The Lord is gonna flip things right side up. So that's our hope and that's our faith, man. And we can't wait. All right, so they can they can keep signing in these anti-lynching acts or whatever. They can keep taking down these statues with, um, you know, commemorating, you know, uh, people that had, or Edomites that had links uh, links to slavery and so on and so forth. But we all, we know the real reason why they're doing that shit, all right? And, and another reason is why, because it's the Lord re revealing them, right? You remember you had that statue that was pulled down, um, oh man, who was it again? Oh, was it, uh, was it Thomas Jefferson? No, it was it. What, what statue was it that got pulled down? And you had Gad on one side, and you had Judah on the other side, and you had Esau on a, on a horse. All right, someone could correct me in the comment board if I'm if I'm mistaken. Oh man, I can't remember his name right now off the top of my head. You know, but hey, yeah, but pretty much that statue got taken down, man. Okay, that statue got taken down. In fact, let me see if I can quickly pull it up. Damn, that's Satan, man. Damn, you see that? Salaki Arkin, bear with me. Shit, man. Ugh. My phone just happened to just fly off my fucking my phone holder. Right. Hey, you see, but that's Satan. You see, I'm trying to pull up the name of this this guy's statue that got taken down. Oh, Theodore Roosevelt, that's the one. A statue remo removed 
museum, they say it's a symbol of progress. What progress, bro? The damage has already been done about a symbol of progress. You see this devil, man? The children shall seek to please the poor, man. All right? The children shall... And the scriptures speak about never trust thine enemy. You know? The scriptures speak about um, in Psalms, what is it, 55? Um, and and 22 or 21 on down um, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter But war was in his heart So yeah they can take these statues down But does that mean that Does that mean that they ain't sharpening their sword? Does that mean that they don't They don't want to They don't want to slaughter Jake by the millions? Does that mean that You know they, They're just gonna You know for, forgo their plans of the new world order To exterminate Jake Put Jake in concentration camps Man that don't mean shit You know They want to take these statues down But they were still Willing to you know, uh, uh, stick Jake, you know, with the, with the, with the, with the hokey pokey, man. You know, so this is this. Is, hey, they wanna they wanna take statues down, but they still got Jake in ghettos. They wanna take statues down, but they still polluting the air that we breathe, the food that we go to eat. All right, so it's just hypocritical, man. Let's just speak about the joy of the hypocrite being but for a moment, man. So this man is a hypocritical demon that's gonna get, be moved out of the way. All right, and there's nothing that he can do. Then, and, and according to prophecy, the scriptures say in the, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10 that the Lord has made Esau bare. He has uncovered his secret place. He shall not be able to hide himself, man. The Lord has stripped Esau and made him bare. Okay, the virgin daughter of Babylon, strip her, man, make her bare. You know, uncover the thigh. You know, that's in Isaiah the 47th chapter, which links with, which links with uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10. You know, Esau's being made bare. And that's why I quoted earlier in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 16, about shameful spewing, you know, being upon his glory, man. Because guess what? This this dirty ass kingdom, which is ruled by a bunch of pedophiles, you know, a bunch of extortionists, a bunch of uh, um, uh, moles, cross dressers, all right, freaks, murderers, thieves, okay? These devils that fund wars. I'm talking about the elites. Okay, I ain't talking about your peons, I ain't talking about the low level Edomites I'm talking about the top level elites that do sacrifices, baby sacrifices, rituals, worship Satan Alright, so at the end of the day, this man can pull down these statues But does that mean that they're going to stop doing sacrifices? Does that mean that they're going to stop printing money? You know, introducing uh, debt slavery to the world? Does that mean that they're going to do that? No, they ain't going to stop doing that Okay, they're going to keep on going. That's why the scripture says the Lord, you know, has shortened the time for the elect's sake. Lest there be no flesh left to be saved. Okay, that's in the Matthew 24, man. So we're at the end of this thing and this devil's being revealed for who he really is, man. All right, and that's, that, and, that's it's, and we get to we get to join in the fight, the spiritual war of pulling down his strongholds, man, by bringing out this truth. Right, witnessing prophecy, prophecy at his finest, man. Because we know ultimately that there's nothing that Esau can do to upset the bounds that he cannot pass. To stop the bounds that has been set by the Heavenly Father that he cannot pass, man. The Lord has set bounds that Esau can't pass. And there's nothing he can do to stop the prophecies, man. No matter how many, you know, agents he sends after us or whatever. There's nothing that this devil can do to upset the prophecies of the scriptures, man. Okay? So anyway, man, you know, I pray you were edified. I just wanted to do a quick, like I said, I didn't want this to be too long. And Lord willing, I'll come back later with another video, all right, um, and do a video on 100, the book that I have, 100 Years of Lynchings, all right, in, in response to this um, anti-lynching act that, you know, President Joe Biden just signed into, into action, this new legislation or whatever, all right? Because it's all hypocritical, man. And you mean to tell me all this blood has been shed over all these years and only now have they signed like that shows you that they don't give a shit about Jake man that shows you that they don't give a shit about you Israelites bro alright anyway with that man I pray you were edified to the next time I'm gonna say Shalom